Welcome to WKMG Hits the Road in Montverde. If our shot looks a little crooked, it's because of the hills out here. <laughs> We're not used to that. It, this is a town that's so small, it doesn't even have a police force. Yeah, it also doesn't have very much crime, but still there are issues that pop up here and there. So how is Montverde getting results protecting our community? News 6 anchor Eric Von Anken is finding out. Uh, I'm Carol Womack, and I am a council member of the town of Montverde. I also serve on our security ride arounds. Yeah, my name is Paul Lorino. I'm the town manager here in Montverde. So we have a town council, we have a town manager, but we do not have a town police department. We are a, a small town. We know each other. Our neighbors are our friends. Uh, and we pretty much rely, if somebody sees something that they question that they don't understand, they'll reach out and say, hey, can you guys take a look at this or maybe you know, check on this property? Montverde has an agreement with the Lake County Sheriff's Office to assist when needed, but otherwise, Montverde polices itself. They have a public safety committee. Small group of people, every once in a while, they get together right there at Town Hall and they talk about problems and solutions. They also have public safety volunteers like council member Wolbach. And council member, you actually do the patrolling yourself. I do. I try to go once or twice a week. And it's really about, you know, visibility is crime prevention, letting people know that um, we as a community watch out for each other. In a town that's only four square miles wide with no banks or any big businesses, really, speeding is the biggest problem here. Lake County Sheriff's Office occasionally does speed enforcement, but the town on its own has cut speeding by more than 50% just by doing things like putting out those radar signs and making the roads here more narrow and adding more signs in general. Paul, this is another aspect of your public safety here in Montverde. Yes, Eric, it is. You, you have every single public area covered with a camera, more or less. We do. We have all of our parks, our public areas, um, our facilities are covered by cameras. Have you used these? We have. We, we've had the Lake County Sheriff's that had a few crimes in town. Um, we had a burglary once. Is all of this getting results enough for the people who live here? Most definitely. I, I, I agree. I think so. I, we, I, we, we have very, very few incidences where we actually have to contact law enforcement. Okay, so guys, that entire story was about law enforcement services, yeah. but maybe you're wondering what about fire and EMS, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So it used to be that here in Montverde, they had a volunteer fire department, right? They realized that, you know, that works, but not entirely ideal. So they made a deal with Lake County. Lake County wanted to bring in their South County offices and, and, and build a building here. Montverde said, we'll do it in our town. So residents are paying a, a resident assessment tax, I believe. And so Lake County said, we will provide you services, fire and EMS here in Montverde for everybody around the clock. Wow. And at the same time, we're going to build our new building here. Wow. So it's a win-win for That's everybody. That's a great deal. Much better than a volunteer fire department. Oh, for sure. They got it figured sure. out pretty well, I got to yeah. say. Seems it seems like it. Like it. Seems like it. Thank you, Great Eric. stuff, Eric. Yeah, of course. All right.